What if you were promised the world by your partner? The wedding, the house, the children, only to see your dreams dissolve before your very eyes. That's exactly what Miss Karangtang said happened to her. She says Mr. Scott presented her with an illusion, the illusion that he was a dedicated family man, only to find out he started a family with another woman. Is Mr. Scott hiding anything else? Let's hear their case. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Starr presiding. Your Honor, this is the case of Quarantine versus Scott. Thank you. Ms. Quarantine, you're here today because you say you believe your entire relationship has been a lie. You say your boyfriend is a deadbeat who has spent the entirety of your relationship making promises he can't keep. Yes, Your Honor. And Mr. Scott, you say you love Ms. Karantang, but she needs to loosen up a bit. You admit you've made some mistakes, but you are desperate to make it up to her and to make the relationship work. Yes, Your Honor. Okay, Ms. Karantang, this sounds a little complicated, so I'm gonna let you take us through what got you here today. Yes, Your Honor, we're here today because Tuan is a user, a manipulator, and a backstabber. I'm completely over it. He has not shown any commitment throughout our relationship. And, you know, he's shown many red flags, and this is why I'm wearing this red dress today. Red flags for the red dress. Ms. Karantang, those are some pretty powerful accusations. Mr. Scott, what say you? Your Honor, in this situation, I just put a down payment on an engagement ring. Um, Ashanti don't even know that. Besides that, her craziness, how she be tripping, how she's so controlling, regardless of all these things, I still actually want to be with her. So, you know, I'm really here to see if she gonna give me another chance, and that's really up to her. Well, let's see what it's up to her. Uh, Ms. Karantang, I know that there's some specific issues that brought you to court today, so why don't you tell us? That's correct. Um, for example, there was a time, you know, around the holidays, you know, he had explained that he was gonna do, you know, go to a basketball game, and he knows I enjoy basketball. Oh, <laughs> that, that is that's and, kind of crazy. Um, <laughs> so um, he had decided to go with his friends instead of inviting me. Yeah. So he had said, "Oh, well, we can do dinner afterwards," and you know, that's all he worries about. Donna, do you mind if dinner. I say something? Well, I just want to make sure Miss Karantang has made her point because before you say anything, Mr. Scott, Miss Karantang, can you tell me? How'd you meet? How'd you get to even be in a relationship with Mr. Scott? Well, I met Mr. Tuan on set for a video shoot. I was the lighting person, and when the video model didn't show up, I filled in for her. Okay, so you had a shared interest in whatever um, business you all were working in, is that yes, correct? Yes, and, you know, we built a relationship, you know, during that um, video shoot, and, you know, we became compatible. Okay, and so, Mr. Scott, you wanted to respond because the plaintiff brought up a very specific instance. It seems as if she's annoyed that you went out with friends instead of including her. Your Honor, that's kind of crazy. Like, cause you know, sports ain't with your girl. You know, it's really like you Who have told your you girl. that? I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't do that. Me and my fellas hang out. Okay, so, that may be what y'all do. Yeah, you know, that's you're from New York, also, right? I'm born and raised in New York. That's okay. What I am. Well, the first thing my dad did. Yes was he taught me to appreciate sports because he said nine times out of 10, you're gonna be with a man who's going to like sports. And I guarantee you, I know more about the teams that you like than your boys do. I know all kinds of things about my New York Knicks, my New York Giants, and the best baseball team in the world, the New York Yankees. So <laughs> when I say that does not mean that a woman doesn't appreciate sports. It may not be your dynamic, but don't put all the sisters in that category. I, I, and listen, Yana, I'm not trying to do that, but this sister, Ashanti, who I deal with, she's not into sports. She's not into not it. Not at all. I, I mean, we're in the house. I play sports. She'll go in the room <laughs> and get into something else. So. So you think this is just an excuse? It's the controlling part. You want to be included in he's, everything. You can't be included in everything. But did you promise her that you all would meet for dinner? I, didn't, I don't even think I promised her that. Like, I brought it up, and she didn't say she wanted to go to the game. So I left it alone, Your Honor. Ms. Karantang, did you actively communicate that you were interested in going to the basketball game? Yes, I did. And did he promise you that uh, even though he was going with the fellas, you all would do something after? Right. That was dinner. 
And Mr. Scott, you're saying you did go out with the fellas. Yes, I did. She did not aggressively communicate that she wanted to meet up and go out afterwards. And that really wasn't your priority. Just be honest about it. Uh, it wasn't. Okay. It wasn't. But Fair enough. Honor, Your Honor, let me, let me say something. Like, she's a gossiper. And when I say she's a gossiper, I just want to get into this, like, main thing. Let me tell you something. Like, so, I have a, a, a church situation. Like, you know, she attends church. I, I grew up in a church, but I haven't attended church in a lot of years. So, this particular Easter Sunday, I go to church with her, to her church for the very first time. Now, mind you, nobody in her church ever met me. They don't know me. They don't, they don't know my name. They don't know anything. This girl right here, as, they, as the pastor's praying at the pulpit, praying, <laughs> his prayers, oh, um, we would like to pray for Mr. Shanti and her fiance, Mr. Scott, and, and, and pray for their relationship. It is pray that they could do best. So now I'm bugging out because I'm in church. Nobody knows me here, Your Honor. Nobody knows. Your Honor, I'm a And then as she's holding my hand, she's squeezing my hand, like, play along. But I'm like, play along for what? Why are these people even talking about us in church in a prayer? So now once church resides and it's over, Everybody in the church is looking at us. Everybody. I mean, oh, yeah, because I'm telling you right now, the deaconesses, yes, every, all everybody, of all of them. So and you. the mothers of the church, Your all Honor. the ladies in white, they Your all 100%. looking at you. Your Honor, so let me tell you about the deaconesses. Thank you for saying that. These old ladies surround me, like seven of them. And as each one surrounds me, they're like, oh, um, you're a cheater, huh, you're a liar. You, I'm like, whoa, this lady's a type. So I'm getting uncomfortable. This Wait, you got crazy. swarmed by the deaconesses? By the crew, the, all the big hats and the church women, but they're surrounding me. I have checked like, your honor. Like, oh, she's yeah. such a good woman. I'm gonna, I'm and, gonna get to you. And, you. and you're doing so wrong now. Like, whoa, 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 whoa. Y'all don't know my life. Y'all don't know what me and Ashanti goes to. Like, yeah, it's two sides of the story. Sometimes they say it's three. Yes, yours, hers, and the truth. She actually speaks to a psychic five times a week. Why are you mad because she's going to see a psychic? Has but something happened with that? I come in the crib, everything is dark. It's nothing but candles over there. As I come in, I knock over a candle because I don't see it. This girl come out of nowhere. You see, she's spraying me with holy, like holy stage water and burning my eyes. He's exaggerating. <laughs>
don't think this people's taking your money? Like you don't, like what, what are you going to see a psychic for? But Mr. Like, Mr. You, Mr. Scott, wait, are you why are you, why are you mad because she's going to see a psychic? Has but, something happened with that? I mean, yes, yeah, something happened now. I come in the crib one day, you know, I come in the house, you know, me coming home. Everything is dark. There's nothing but candles around. As I come in, I knock over a candle because I don't see it. This girl come out of nowhere. You see? That's the devil. I told you, that's my, that's my, that's my freedom candle. That's my spirit candle. Ooh, and you done knocked over the wrong candle. I'm like, whoa, 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 wait, 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 what are you talking about, boy? Like, this is a candle. I ain't see it. There's a bunch of candles around. No, you know this is my candle. It's the wisdom candle. And who? you the devil. Walk back out my house. Like, Your house? I thought it was our house. But now, it's just so much. So, like, I'm like, yo, now she's spraying me with stuff. Like, what, are, what are you? Yo, Shanti, relax, Shanti. What are you doing? She's spraying me with holy, like, holy sage water and burning my eyes. My eyes. I mean, yo, Shanti, what are you doing? I can't even see him. Like, He's exaggerating. <laughs> um, one day, I get a message, and he was at the baby shower holding her, her bump. So I want to know why you were in a photograph with another woman holding her baby bump. I just want to know that. Because Ashanti gives me a sex schedule. Is there a reason behind this calendar? Yes. And what's the reason? I'm doing fertility treatments. If you'd like your case to be heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com. Missed a show? Watch full episodes on our streaming platforms and follow us on social media for exclusive content. Ms. Karantang, you brought this case. Right. I need to hear from you. Why are we here? We're here because Mr. Scott needs to be taking our relationship serious, and he made promises to me, you know... What say, promises? ...saying that we were gonna have a family, mm -hmm. and he know my situation. And your um, situation is? Um, I'm unable to ha bear children after my daughter. Okay. Um, so some infertility issues. Right. Um, and I'm, sh I'm assuming that is painful for you because if you wanted to have additional children, especially one day with a man that you marry, um, that becomes problematic. Right. There was some, for example, there was some shoes missing that belonged to my daughter. So I asked Tuan where they were, and he says he doesn't know. So um, after that, um, one day I get a message saying that he, you know, pretty much I need to look out for him. So when I clicked on it, long behold, there's a baby shower photo. A baby shower photo? Mm -hmm. While you were in the midst of your relationship? That's correct. And he was at the baby shower holding her, her bump, her, yeah. Mr. Scott? Okay. So I want to know why you were in a photograph with another woman holding her baby bump. I just want to know that, sir. Because, um, Ashanti gives me a sex schedule. Okay. And due to her giving me a sex schedule, it ended up making me step out on her. <laughs> and I mean, when I say sex schedule, it's, it's kind of crazy. Like, I could come in at 7.45 p.m., wanting her. You gotta check the calendar. Like, what are you talking about, check the calendar? You gotta go check the calendar. You can see it. I got evidence. I have the evidence here. Okay, let me see, see your evidence. Where y'all can see, like, you know, like, the evidence is here. You, as you can see right there, that's the calendar. That's the sex calendar. So and, that means... And what am I looking at? Tell me, this is oh, the I'm, calendar oh, to I'm say... I'm gonna tell you, Yana. Yes. You're, you're looking at a grown man who wanted to have, you know, special time with his girl, and he can't. It like, doesn't mean for him excuse to me, excuse me, Rihanna, me. Can I Um... Ms. Karantang, let's, Thank you. let's so like, say. Let's just say we had a great date with Ms. Nayana today, and I want to do something <laughs> when we get back. That day is not on yet, so the schedule can't go. I can't get none. I can't do anything. It's not like I can get none normally. No, it has to be a schedule. Here's so my question, though, Mrs. Scott. Um, <sighs> if this calendar exists... Yes, it does. Yes, do... it does exist. <laughs> is there a reason behind this calendar? Yes. And what's the reason? Because I'm doing fertility treatments. You know, it cost me over $2,000, you know, because I want to start a family with him. And does he know you want to start a family? He does. And did, did he agree that he was interested yes, in starting a does. family? So are you telling me you put together a family planning calendar? That's correct. Not a sex calendar. Okay, now, because... Don't make me come down there, because what I really want you to understand something, Mr. Scott, there's a difference between a sex calendar and a family planning calendar. A sex calendar is... 
yo, we just gonna do it, we gonna do it, we gonna hit it, we... and it might be wonderful, and that's what young people do. But if you as a team are supposed to be planning a family and someone is doing fertility treatments that you have agreed to, that it's okay, that that's what she's saying, it was supposed to be the fertility treatments together. There are times of the month that a woman who is doing fertility treatments are most fertile. And then there are other times that she's not fertile. And she's trying to be in a position that she can give you the child that you all have talked about. That is actually what is occurring there. There is a method to this madness. There, it, there exists a reason, sir. And it's a universal reason, and it's not one that I just made up. It's one that anybody that knows what fertility treatments take would do. And if you are going to be a man in a relationship and you are going to agree to have a baby with this girl, that means you got to agree to the fertility treatments. Did you tell her that another woman was pregnant? No, Your Honor, I didn't. How do you feel about that? I mean, she would've knew eventually. I just, I didn't want to hurt her, you know what I mean? Due to the fact she had that situation and she couldn't have kids, I wasn't trying to, uh, like, really break her down like that. Cause I do care about her, you know what I mean? I didn't want to hurt her like that. So when I did find out what was going on, I knew it would come to light cause I can't hide a child. And if I tried, I couldn't hide her for too long. If I were in here mm -hmm. with the woman that I said when we started out that I wanted to save the relationship with, and she just told the judge that you didn't have an on-break baby. You had it in the midst of the relationship, baby, with a whole nother person that she's gonna have to deal with for the next minimum of 18 years. And if you're gonna be a man, you have to take care of that baby. So now you're gonna be in that baby's life, which you better be. You're gonna have to be in that baby mama's life. <laughs> and see, I know it's making you uncomfortable because it makes me uncomfortable because people never think about consequences. Folk always talk about the cancel culture that we're in. This is a consequence culture because you have now introduced an innocent child into this relationship and they will not go away. That child deserves the love of his or her father. This is your child. And I'm gonna tell you, whenever a case comes before me that involves a child and a man standing there and trying to give me him haul what for and she shouldn't have done, I say, Baby, ain't nobody unzip your pants and make you step out on the woman you claim to love. Nobody did that. <clears throat> Nobody <throat> else did that. If you want to be treated like a man, you must act like a man. A man does not demand respect. A man commands respect. Your Honor. You walk into the room and you be a man. You have to be that dude for her. Because that's who you say you are. Your Honor, I deserve better. I really do. You do deserve better. You deserve better, and all women who have put up with this situation for many years deserve better. And I'm gonna tell you something. You're not gonna get any better from Mr. Scott. So you have to make a determination. You ready to make a life with somebody as a husband who is not even a good boyfriend? Then you are in for a world of hurt. If I were you, I would run. Robert, I'm gonna tell you, that is the definition of a narcissist. Yeah, he, he only thought about himself. I mean, she has a fertility calendar and he thinks it's a sex calendar? That's because he's only into himself. I watched them walk out and she still held his hand. You know. She has been so beat down in terms of her own self-esteem that she doesn't even recognize herself. And it's sad to say, this is not going to change. This is going to stay the same. And what I hope is it doesn't get worse. You're right. I hope it really doesn't get worse because walking out with holding his hand only means, in my opinion, maybe she wants a kid with this man just because he has another kid. And that's it.